In this video, we are going to look at how to draw the electron arrangement for carbon dioxide. First, we need to know the electron arrangement of carbon and oxygen individually. Carbon has an electron arrangement of 2, 4 and oxygen has an electron arrangement of 2, 6. Next, we need to determine whether this is going to be an ionic compound or a covalent compound. And so, in order to find that, we have to see whether we are dealing with non-metals and non-metals or non-metals and metals. In this case, both carbon and oxygen are non-metals. And so, a non-metal and a non-metal will usually form a covalent bond. And so, we are looking at a covalent compound. Now, we have to look at how many electrons carbon needs in order to achieve a stable electron arrangement. It has an electron arrangement of 2, 4, which means it needs another 4 added to it so that it can become 2, 8, which is a stable octet electron arrangement. And oxygen needs another 2 for the same to become 2, 8, stable octet electron arrangement. Once we know how many electrons they need, then we can determine how many they are going to contribute. In a covalent bond, an element will contribute the exact same number of electrons that it requires. So for example, carbon needs 4 electrons, therefore it will also contribute 4 electrons to covalent bonds. Oxygen needs 2 electrons, oxygen is going to contribute 2 to the covalent bond. And then what we're going to do is now similar to when we devise our ionic formula that is cross these numbers. In ionic compounds, we cross the charges, but of course these are covalent compounds, there are no charges. So we cross the amount of electrons needed all to be contributed. And so now we simplify it, 1 to 2, and we have the number of atoms in the compound. There's one carbon atom and there's two oxygen atoms. So if there's one carbon atom and there's two oxygen atoms, carbon is going to be in between the two oxygen atoms. And so let's draw that first. Carbon is in the middle. Let's draw the nucleus. So let's draw the electron arrangement for carbon first then. So carbon is 2, 4. So the first shell is not involved in bonding. So we just draw. One shell here, two. Now the second shell, there is supposed to be four electrons. However, when you are drawing it at the first stage, don't draw the electrons that are going to be contributed. Since carbon is going to contribute four, and it only has four valence electrons, we are not going to draw any other electrons yet. So all we are going to do is, we are just going to draw an empty shell. Leave some space on the left and the right for the overlap. Okay, so we're just going to leave an empty shell because all four of its valence electrons are going to be contributed towards covalent bonding. And then we look at oxygen. Oxygen is 2, 6. So let's draw the first shell first. Oxygen, O, nucleus, first shell. Since we are using cross, we are using cross for electrons of carbon. We are going to use dots for electrons of oxygen. And so this is a dot. There's two here. Okay, for the second shell, this is the valence shell. So again, it's going to be involved in bonding. And oxygen is going to contribute two electrons towards bonding out of the six electrons, which means we are only going to draw four. So let's do exactly that. We're going to draw four. Remember the overlap. Okay. Outside of the overlap, we are going to draw four. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. Now, of course, this is going to be the same on the other side. So again, oxygen, nucleus, first shell. We use dots as well here because the left is crossed. So now we have to use dots and then overlap and here we have four one two three and four okay so now all the contributed electrons are going to be involved in bonding 
which means we are going to draw all these electrons in the overlapping space between the shells. So oxygen contributes to and when oxygen contributes to carbon also has to contribute to back. This is how covalent bonding works. One is contributed from one atom and then the other atom matches it with one. This is of course we are talking about simple covalent bonds not dative covalent bonds. So one and one and so there is one from carbon to match the first and another one to match the second and the same is going to go on on the other side as well. So this is how you draw the bonding pairs. So now we can see that in this compound carbon contributes a total of four electrons each oxygen two oxygen atoms contribute two electrons each to all together share four pairs of electrons. There are eight electrons that are being shared in four pairs. And remember, a simple covalent bond consists of one pair of electrons. And so we can draw, okay, first let's draw the Lewis structure. The Lewis structure for this will be, you only take the outermost electrons, the, sh the electrons, the valence shell, the valence electrons. So we take carbon, it has, the carbon has four and four. So carbon already has achieved two eight here. So four and four on either side. So when we are drawing these two pairs of electrons are shared, we draw them side by side for Lewis structure like this. So you draw X for the carbon and then the dot you draw next to it. So here we can see that two pairs of electrons are being formed. I mean, are being shared and therefore it is known as a double bond. This is a double bond. Two pairs of electrons shared between two atoms. And this is oxygen. So you can see carbon already has eight electrons. And then oxygen, we complete it. It has four here, two on top and two on the left. Actually, it doesn't matter where you draw them as long as you draw another four. So we have two here and two here. So oxygen has eight as well. This is the Lewis structure. Of course, we can also represent it using lines. So only representing the bonds, we have two bonds on the left and two bonds on the right with oxygen. And this is the Lewis structure for the carbon dioxide molecule. So when you check oxygen, oxygen also has achieved two and eight. Four in the middle and then two and two. So two, eight. And the same for the right as well. And this is how we draw the covalent compound, the electron arrangement for the covalent compound carbon dioxide involving double bonds. If you learn from this, guys, do, do me a favor and hit that like button. Thank you very much for doing that. Share it with all your friends if you think it's useful. I'll be producing at least one video a week. See you guys in the next one.